Hey guys, welcome back to the Passive Money Plan. Today we're going to be talking about something that I believe is in everybody's interest, which is what do they want to do when they retire? And it's funny because I thought that this is something everyone kind of just has in mind, you know, like, oh, when I retire, finally, I want to do this. I talked to some people, they're like, I don't want to retire. I can't retire. <laughs> and I'm like, that's that's crazy. But um, but yeah, I mean, Kirby, what have you heard as far as what people have said and such? The number one thing I always hear people say is I want to when I retire, I want to travel. That is the number one thing that I always hear people say. Um, and it's funny that they say that because let's just think about it in, you know, regular terms. Most people won't retire till they're let's say 65, you know, that's the retirement age. Most people have to go way longer than that because social security uh, pensions are damn near obsolete now, but social security won't cover it. People didn't, you know, maximize their retirement accounts, you know, 401ks, Roth IRAs, IRAs, you know, even investment accounts. So they didn't do anything like that. So let's just say most people go, if they're able to retire, it'd be around 65, 70 years old. And then when they get to that age, they're going to realize something. Like my mom is actually in that uh, age range now when my mom has pension, social security and things of that nature. Uh, but the thing that they don't account for is one inflation, the price of everything. They're basing their retirement. Oh, if I make this much, this is how much my rent will be. This is how much my mortgage will be. This is how much car payments will be. This is how much food and groceries will be. But they're not forecasting it out, you know, 20, 30 years from now. And then what happens is when they get to that retirement age, they realize they don't even have money uh, to live, let alone to travel. Hell, they probably you know, can't even afford to take an Uber to the corner store. You know what I mean? But the other part of that is you're 65. How you feel now in your 20s, 30s, and 40s, you know, you all juvenated. But when you turn 65 and 70, you have every aching bone in your body moving. And then you talk about, oh, I'm going to sit on uh, airplanes flying to different countries or going on cruises. You better hope you don't have a colostomy bag cooked to your side or something or you're walking on a cane. But you don't really get to enjoy the things that you can do in your, you know, in your active years if you wait all the way to 60 to retire. And Alex, I remember when I first talked to you, your goal when you retired was to travel, you know? And I always said, why are you going to wait till you're, till you're that old? Why don't you just do it now? But that's that's the one thing I see people, they say that's what they want to do in retirement. And uh, for the most part, when people get to that age, they don't even have the uh, capabilities financially or physically to even do those things. Yeah. And it's funny because now I kind of just look at it and like the things I do or that me and my wife do when we do travel are things that we wouldn't be able to do if we were that old, <laughs> you know, because some of these things are like, I mean, whenever we travel, we're really like our thing is we're really interested in like national parks and like just stuff away from like civilization. And so there's a lot. I mean, you got to be like climbing and i mean we're not like rock climbing or nothing like that but there's a lot of like hiking and stuff just to like get certain views of like different spots but and a lot of people that are older they want to like go to the cities and stuff but it's like you go to i mean you could probably say the same thing because you've been to a lot of places every city is just a city it's like it's got stores it's got restaurants it's like yeah it's a maybe it's a, there's different cultures or maybe a couple different businesses than you're used to but it's like for the most part it's almost the same thing like when I was in Los Angeles I was like I don't get the hype like this is just like I mean there, I don't see much of a difference from Los Angeles downtown to like Tampa downtown you know so I was like well this was kind of boring but like other parts of California that were interesting like Yosemite National Park and stuff like that but I can't be 65 years old trying to climb up, you know, 3,000 feet. You know? Like, it's not going to work. But so I'm glad I'm. I'm 40. I'm 40 and I ain't even trying to climb up nothing no more. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so I'm you know. glad we're actually doing that now. Um, but 
I mean, I have seen some people, you know, older people take like older people vacations, like cruises and stuff. You know, maybe you could do something like that. But yeah, for the most part, if you want to like go out and like adventure and explore, it's going to be hard to do it when you're old. Very hard. Right. And it's and and that's the thing is they have it, they have it backwards. They they believe that this world is again that inflation that inflation is invisible, so most people don't account for it. And let's say a plane ticket to Europe right now, a plane ticket to Europe about twelve hundred, let's say twelve hundred dollars. Twenty thirty years from now, it's gonna be two thousand just with inflation, two thousand twenty five hundred. And then, you know, your Social Security check going to be, let's just say, $3,000. Have you paid the necessities off? Where's your money to travel? Where's your money for lodging? Where's your money? All that, all those costs go up. And people are thinking of today's prices, thinking that they may have enough money to do it based off today's prices. But it's going to be based off tomorrow's prices when you retire. So... And they are going to need a whole lot more money. And to get a whole lot more money for retirement, you're going to have to do more extreme things. You're going to have to live on less than you make. You're going to have to make more money. You're going to have to start cutting out a lot of the wants in your life to attain that goal. But my philosophy is the same thing that I told you when you said uh, you can't wait to retire to travel. And I said, well, if you make some adjustments now, you can travel now and enjoy it now when you're young. And your body won't hurt as much <laughs> climbing those mountains than when you do when you're, you know, 50s and 60s and 70 years old. And then you just made the adjustment. I mean, I remember you you always just sat in the house, did nothing like, wait, I'm just going to save up. So when I when I get 65, I'm, I'm retired, baby, and we're going to hit the sky. And then now, every time I call you, yeah, I'm, I'm headed here, I'm headed here, I'm going here. But it had no, it's having no financial impact on the goals that you have, your short-term goals that you have your medium-term goals or your long-term goals. And when you reach that age, you know, 60, 65, you could be like, oh yeah, I've been there, done that. You know, it's not, it's not, oh, I worked all my whole life just to do this for the last, you know, five to 10 years of my life. And it's a as backwards way of thinking that that's how people believe or they're just hoping, or like you said, most people in truth, will never have enough money to retire and they will work to their dying day before the people that still have that hope and dream of, Oh, I'm going to retire when I, I'm going to travel when I retire. You need to come up with a game plan and start traveling now while your body still got it. And the best thing to do is start putting your money in better places, better vehicles, better vehicles, not vehicles as in cars. I mean, vehicles as in platforms to make more money, uh, so you can have the opportunities to enjoy life because when retirement age hit and the way the inflation is going and the way that the job market is is moving away from pension plans and things like that and the 401k plans that these businesses do offer some of them are very subpar you won't have the capital to be able to do those things in the future you better just hope you are able to survive and live off the money you do get in retirement yeah, absolutely. And you see, like, people, they think that retiring is just, like, a right. Like, it's just going to happen. And right. you have to understand, you have to get your money straight. Like, Social Security won't cut it. Someone's regular 401k won't cut it. You have to get your money right when you're young to be able to do that. It's not something that you can just do. So I think if more people realize, because I've talked to people and they just like assume like, oh, you just work for this amount of years and then you magically retire. Like, no, you have to figure out how you're going to retire. <laughs> like, like, right. you, like right. you have to have that planned out. Not everyone retires. And if you can, like you said, if you can adjust the way that you're spending money now, then you won't even really, I mean, for one, you won't even be worried about how you're going to retire, but you'll be able to enjoy the things now that you want to enjoy when you retire. You can do everything at, right now. But well, with all that being absolutely. said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below. What are your plans for retirement? Share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.